welcome to our channel. Have you heard the rumor that tea could possibly cause kidney stones? It's a concern for many tea drinkers in China because for many of us, we drink tea since we were a kid and uh, we're pretty much lifelong tea drinkers. However, it's not a very heated topic in the West. I think it might be related to the overall tea consumption is relatively low here. But I think it's a great topic for us to talk about. So today's video, we will be talking about oxalic acid. If you are interested to know whether tea is going to cause kidney stones or not, just keep on watching. Hey there, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Jen. Phil and I run an online tea boutique Gen Tea specializes in fine tasting great Chinese tea. In this channel, we share our passion about tea. You will see videos about tea gardens, uh, how is tea made, and how to brew tea at home for a better sip. So if that's up your alley, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as we have new content. Without further ado, let's get started. Unlike animals who don't like oxalic acids, plants use oxalic acids as a powerful tool. Together with other organic acids, oxalic acids help to stabilize the preferred pH of a plant. When combined with calcium, it's a great weapon to protect the plants, making the photosynthesis process smoother and deter animals from eating their leaves. Plants also use oxalic acids as a way to detoxify themselves, getting rid of heavy metals out of their bodies. Oxalic acid is very common in vegetables, and yes, tea has oxalic acids, but it's not the main acid in tea. Compared to other vegetables, tea has a higher level of oxalic acid. However, it is not phenomenally high. And good news is, we don't really eat tea. We drink tea. So when we brew tea, we usually get around 70 to 80% of its oxalic acid out. But if you're doing a strong long brew, the percentage could go up all the way to 95%. What are the factors that affect the oxalic acid quantity in tea? If you watch our video about caffeine or uh, L-theanine tea, you probably get the gist now that the cultivar, the environment, the season, plucking, how the tea is processed, as well as how you brew it. All these factors play a part. Remember I said that oxalic acid is used by the plants to protect themselves? So the younger shoes actually contains a higher level of oxalic acid than the lower part of the plant. Coming back to the ultimate question, is tea causing my kidney stones? Well, the simplified answer is no. Our body is very complicated and the process of a forming kidney stone is also very complicated. Though diet is a contributing factor, it is not the main factor. Race plays a part. Do you have a metabolic syndrome? How is your gut health? It is our overall health that we should be focused on. To most people, Tea, as a single factor, is not going to stop you from getting cancer or giving you kidney stones. As a matter of fact, many studies focused on tea and the kidneys reveal that many components in tea actually promote the health of our kidneys and prevent us from getting kidney stones. Tea polyphenols, EGCG, tea polysaccharides, caffeine, tea pigment, and L-theanine. Some of them working on improving the health of kidney cells, reversing the damage. Some of them help stop calcium oxalates from forming. The others help greatly improve our gut health, making our body work on get rid of what it's supposed to get rid of. That being said, drinking a proper amount of tea, not excessive, is a great idea. And avoid drinking strong tea also help lower the intake of oxalic acid. But if you have concerns or you already have conditions, it's always wise to consult with your doctors first. 
Well, this is a wrap for today's video. I hope the information is helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time, keep steeping. Thank you.